Today is my birthday. Um, well, when you're watching this, my birthday is over. But currently, as I'm filming this, it is my birthday. So for weeks now, I have been waiting to unbox this garden for you guys on camera. So I was sent this. This is the Click and Grow Gardening Solution. Hello, my friend. You're kind of in the way. Do you think that's a good spot? Okay, nice choice. Many of you may know that if you live in a climate where it snows, you can't have a garden outside. <laughs> and for many of us who have pets like guinea pigs, rabbits, hamsters, chinchillas, mice, rats, gerbils, the whole works, you want to give them fresh vegetables and uh, growing your own is one of the best sources. This makes it easy to do so in winter. JJ, you're still in the way. Thank you. So inside of here we have some green lettuce, mini tomatoes, and basil, but I also got some catnip, calendula, Calendula. Calendula. And some corn flour. The catnip is obviously for the cats. I really wanted to try cat fresh catnip with the cats. And the calendula and corn flour is for the small animals. So let's see. We got the light bar so that you can have this in a dark area of your home. And here is the whole system. And then, and then, and then, voila. Okay, let's install the pods. you guys updated on how everything grows Sadie that twist tie is not for you and if you're interested in getting your own click and grow I do have an affiliate link in the description bar below so it has been one week since starting the sprouts and so far every single one has sprouted it is now week two and this is how the plants are looking. I've got the plants all organized, so I have two green leaf lettuces, three corn flowers, two calendulas, and two catnip plants. Week three, everything is starting to grow out of control. Week 14, it's starting to get a little bit out of hand. Going on week five, this is what the plants look like so far. I think the catnip is getting pretty tall, so today we're going to snip it and give it to the cats. First contestant. What's this? <laughs> oh, oh. Here comes Sadie. What's this? What is it? At least somebody likes it.
Here is week six of the plants. The flowers should start blooming between now and a couple more weeks. It is now week seven and the flowers I'm starting to see have some blooms coming up. So on the calendula, you can actually see three of the blooms. We have one right here, one here, and then this one up here. So it is now week eight, and as you can see, we have some beautiful blooms by the calendula. Um, my cornflowers kind of got a little bit nibbled by the cats, so we're still waiting for those to bloom. So here is my lettuce that I've grown. I waited a little bit too long, so as you can see, some spots did get a little bit sunburnt from the light, but the rabbits won't care about that. So let's see how they like it. What do you think? Dada, what's this? Oh, <laughs> it's gonna get full of stuff. Do you like it? Here is some calendula for the rabbits to try out. What do you think of this? Would you like to try some? <laughs> She's like, um, I don't think so. What if I just, oh, okay. So I have a calendula flower for Mabel to try out. <laughs> it's kind of in your water dish. Okay, it's fully in the water dish. That's okay, at least you like it kind of. Mabel, this is so funny. <laughs> oh. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow, I'm so happy the hamsters like it. Oh boy. So the cornflowers have finally bloomed and I can test them out with the rabbits. <laughs> no? Clean. 
Mio likes it. You sure you don't want it? Cleo's gonna eat it if you don't. Now to try corn flour with the hamsters. What is this? You want to try corn flour? Oh. Oh my goodness. Dipper. What's this? <laughs> And that completes all of the food that I grew for the pets. And overall, it seems that everybody enjoyed everything, I think. I'm so happy that I can use this new garden center to grow stuff for my pets. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.